Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. We are proud to welcome our first member of the PNL Patreon squad. Dexter, enough respect. And you can also become a member of the PNL Patreon squad. The URL is Patreon dot com slash papai news links we haven't started uploading any contents to it as yet but you can go there and sign up we'll be dropping some videos over there that are too grimy for youtube we'll be dropping some exclusive content over on patreon and signing up is a way of supporting this channel the patreon channel is in its infancy stage but there is a lot being planned for over there I will also be dropping the link in the description below. So click on it, go over there and sign up. Now, we are still heading down Spur Tree Hill. Continue to sit back, continue to relax and continue to enjoy this journey with me. Now, my viewers, my subscribers, tis the season to be jolly. Season's greetings to you and your family. This time of the year. Is a time for reflection. Now, anyone who know me <laughs> from a long time, they will tell you that I used to be a DJ. Yes, man, it's a whole lot of stage shows <laughs> I used to mash up back in the day. I try not to build this channel around Popeye, the person, but one day, one day, I'm going to be telling you about myself. And trust me, there is a whole lot to tell. Trust me upon that. So, what I'm trying to tell you is that I used to be a DJ. I was never a singer. But I have this song that has been on my mind all week that I want to sing for you. No, it's not a Christmas song. For you, my subscribers who give me the inspiration every day to keep on keeping on. I have so much to say, but in the least most simple way, I love you. Ooh. I have so much to share And so to show you how I care I thank you I just want to say thank you For the many things you've done For having faith in PNL More than anyone And when people would have Bad things to say And try to tear us down In the worst possible way Subscribers You stood right by me And that's how love is supposed to be I just wanna say thank you For the many things you done Don't watch the singing <laughs> Listen to the words I just wanna say thank you For the many things you've done I have so much to say, so for as long as I shall live, I'll be true to you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I have so much to do, just to prove this channel is true, cause I thank you. Ooh, ooh. Lord knows this channel wouldn't grow if you didn't come along. Now suddenly... Life is a song, this happy song I just love to sing, especially for the joy it brings. My subscribers, you stood up for me, and that's how love is supposed to be. I just want to say thank you for the many things you've done. La 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 <laughs> Merry Christmas Merry Christmas to all I know Enough respect Yeah man the love is from the heart You have been very good to me I mean we are not gonna agree all the time you know It's not everything that I do on this channel You are gonna agree with But enough respect Thanks for telling a friend to tell a friend. Thanks for sharing our videos. Thanks for loving or liking our videos. This channel has been growing 
and continue to grow because of you and because we are giving you contents we are giving you information that you can depend on we don't come here if you come tell no lie for nobody we are never there you know when the incidents are taking place so we are not gonna get it correct all the time you understand but we don't set out to libel or slander nobody we are here to give you the truth and who am bex when you put out the truth that a feed them business enough respect so in the news today two men died in separate motor vehicle accidents last night christmas eve saturday december 24 2022 now the first incident it took place along the tarrington main road in the parish of westmoreland about seven o'clock last night we are learning that a man his name is mr linton watkins he is 71 years old mr watkins he was riding a motorcycle along the Tarrington main road when it is said that he failed to negotiate a corner. As a result, he lost control of the bike which ran off the road. Mr. Watkins, he was thrown from the bike and landed on the ground. As a result, he received serious head injuries. He was rushed to the Southern Alamar Public Hospital where Mr. Watkins, he died whilst receiving treatment. Sad indeed. In the next incident, we are learning that a 52-year-old farmer, his name is Mr. Barrington Francis, but he was popularly known as Barry. He was living at Litchfield in the parish of Trelawney. Barry, he died after he was hit down by a car and a 71-year-old farmer. He is in hospital in a serious condition. This one took place last night, about some minutes to 8 o'clock. It took place at a district named Lime Tree in the Waterbit police area in the parish of Trelawney. We are learning that these two men, they were standing on the sidewalk when they were hit down by a BH 2004 Toyota Corolla Ronex motor car. This car was being driven by a 24-year-old man from the said parish of Trelawney. We are also learning that the young man, he is reporting that he was driving along the road when unreaching in the vicinity of a car wash. Another vehicle was coming in the opposite direction with a bright light. As a result, this young man is saying that he was unable to see. He reported that he heard a loud bang and he realized that he had hit something on the left side of the road. When he stopped, he realized that it was the two men he had just hit. 52-year-old Barry, he died on the spot whilst Mr. Scarlett, the 71-year-old farmer, he was rushed to hospital where, like I said, he's admitted in a serious condition. Sad indeed. Now, in this next incident, we are learning that the Negril police, acting on intelligence, they carried out a raid at a house at Orange Hill in the parish of Westmoreland. This took place yesterday, Saturday, December 24, 2022, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. During this raid, that magazine containing those four 9mm cartridges were recovered. No one was arrested in connection with this find, but Intelligencers, big up on yourself. And Negril Police, job well done. Now, over in the parish of St. James, listen to me now. Listen to me carefully. For a while now, I have been carrying some stories about taxi drivers being held up and robbed by hoodlums. They are robbed of money and their motor vehicles. Some have even been shot and killed. Now, I have no doubt that some of these drivers, they are going to be finding ways to protect themselves. And I have no doubt that if they can't get a firearm legally, some of them are going to be going the illegal way. Now, understand what I'm saying. I do not support anyone having an illegal firearm, but I do understand the taxi driver's plight. On Friday, December 23, 2022, shortly after 12 midday a taxi driver he said to be a rasta man he drive a toyota noah which he operates as a taxi it is said that he plied the route montego bay to narwood in st james this driver he loaded his bus at the north gully taxi stand and he headed out to narwood he picked up a young man in montego bay now i am not sure what caused the argument but the driver and this young man they started arguing on reaching along the Paradise Main Road, 
the guy requested a stop. The driver stopped. It is said that the young man, he came out of the vehicle, but him give the door one slam. The driver, he did not like what just happened, so he started arguing with the guy again. It is alleged that the driver, he came out of the vehicle and make one box in the guy's face. As a result, the two of them started to fight. During this fight, a gun fell from the driver's waistband. The other guy, he picked up the gun. The driver, he jumped into the Toyota Noah and he made good his escape. The police were called and the gun was handed over to them by the guy. It was found to be a black browning single action 9mm pistol with the serial number intact. It was affixed with a magazine containing 6 rounds of 9mm cartridges. And just in case you are wondering, I made checks and yes, it is an illegal gun. So the RAS is wanted by the police. <laughs> ah boy. Now, this next incident, it took place last night. Saturday, December 24, 2022, about some minutes after 7 o'clock. It took place at Sheffield in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, this is what we are learning. A guy, his correct name is Donovan Pierce, but he's popularly known as Science. He's living at Sheffield in the parish of Westmoreland. It is said that Science and his baby mother, they are involved in a conflict because Science... He's accusing his baby mother of stealing his money. Last night, it is said that Science, he confronted her about the money and both of them started arguing. The allegations are that Science, he picked up a big stone which he used to hit his baby mother to the right side of her head, causing a wound. It is further alleged that Science, he then left and returned on a bike. The allegations are that Science, he pulled a gun and fired several shots at his baby mother. She ran away and luckily, she was not hurt. The baby mother, she went to the police where she made a report. It is said that the police, they went to Science's house to arrest him. The allegations are that an approach in the house. Science, he was seen by the police with a gun in his hand. It is further alleged that Science, he opened gunfire at the police who returned the fire. Science, he managed to make good his escape. It is not known whether or not Science was hit, but no member of the police party were injured. So Science is now a wanted man. And I can bet you, I can bet you that the money that him want kill him baby mother for can't pay lawyer fee. <laughs> I can bet you that. The mayhem. Now, over in Froome in Westmoreland, we are learning that two men were shot and injured by the police after a mob allegedly attacked the police. This took place some minutes after 3 o'clock this morning. Sunday, Christmas morning, December 25, 2022. Now, our information is that a team of police officers, they went to a party that was being held at a location and they instructed the selector to turn off the sound system. It is said that the promoter for the event, he got into an argument with the police. We are also learning that members of the crowd they were incited to stone the police. It is said that missiles were hurled at the police and the police, they opened fire. Two men, one of them, he's called Jogo and he's 29 years old. The other one, he's said to be known as Pops. He is 26 years old. Both of them were shot. No, we are not getting any reports that any of these men were stoning the police. But these two men, it is said that they were at the party and they were shot. One of them received injuries to his abdomen and the other one, he received injuries to his side. Both of them, they were rushed to the Savannah Lamar Hospital where they were treated and admitted. Now, we are gathering some more details in this incident and we will definitely be updating this story. Stand by for that. Now, this next incident, it took place early this morning. Sunday, December 25, 2022, about 1 o'clock. It took place at Garden District in the White House area in the parish of Westmoreland. The information we are getting so far is kind of sketchy, but what we are learning is that two men, they were riding on a motorcycle in the area when gunshots were heard. The men, 
they continued riding and on reaching home. One of the men, he was the Pillian. He is popularly known as Acid. He is said to be in his early 30s. Acid, he realized that he was shot. He received gunshot wounds to his left foot. Acid, he was taken to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted. And still in the parish of Westmoreland. This one took place last night. Saturday, December 24, 2022, about 8.30. It took place along the Withorn Main Road in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that a young man, he is popularly known as Chucky. Chucky is said to be in his mid-twenties. It is said that Chucky, he was riding his motorcycle along the Withorn Main Road when a motor vehicle drove up behind him. It is said that hoodlums in the vehicle, they opened gunfire at Chucky. He managed to ride off into a lane. The hoodlums, they then drove away in the said motor vehicle, making good their escape. It was then realized that Chucky, he was shot. He received gunshot wounds to his right hand, the left side of his back, the upper section of his back, and his right foot. Chucky, he was assisted by residents to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted in a serious condition. The mayhem. The may so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. On this Christmas day, have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to do it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, we are now heading to 150,000 subscribers. Hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. In the final story for today, we carried a story on Wednesday, November 23, and I told you about an incident that took place the previous day. Tuesday, November 22, 2022, about some minutes to 6 o'clock in the early morning. It took place at Lambs River in the parish of Westmoreland. In that story, I told you that residents of the area they heard groaning sounds and they went to investigate. When they went, they saw a man who lived in the area. He's popularly known as Gully. Now, Gully's correct name is Cleon Collins and he was 52 years old at the time. Gully, he was living in the same Lambs River area in the Betteltown Police area in the parish of Westmoreland. Gully, he was found lying on the ground near to our premises. It is said that he had a wound to his forehead. Gully, he was rushed by relatives to the Savannah Lamar Public Hospital where he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E so, like I told you in that video, the police, they were carrying out investigation, but they were awaiting a post-mortem to ascertain the cause of death. Well, the post-mortem results, they are in. But before I tell you about the results, let me tell you what I am learning about Gully. It is said that Gully... He is well known in the Lambs River community. For most of Gully's adult life, he has been a drug addict. The white substance was Gully's drug of choice. Gully, he was also known to be a thief. He would steal anything he could lay his hands on to support his drug addiction. Well, someone got tired of Gully. The postmortem result is stating that Gully. He died from several blunt force traumas to his head. So, Gully, he might have messed with the wrong person's things. Or, like I said before, someone got tired of him. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like. Subscribe and share. Oh, we care. With silver if we just unite. What a country this will be. If we just unite. Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite. What a country this will be. If we just unite. Jamaica live in unity. Hey. Crime it a mash up Jamaica. Criminals them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaicans mash up Jamaica.
Criminals, they 